Hey, creators and fans, this is part two of the Kraken Con 2018 footage. If you enjoyed the last video, make sure you click subscribe, enable notifications by ringing that bell. If you want to help this channel out financially and support better and greater content, head over to Patreon or Subscribestar. <laughs> Welcome to the stage, our fantastic judges and cosplay senpais. <laughs> Stefan Schmidt, Wind of the Stars, <laughs> Kinetic Cosplay. I'm just gonna get for you to join us. Charity Girl. Oh, you're not trying to make me look bad. I'm not trying. People are already mad that I kicked them out earlier, but it's like I had secrets to tell. And then, secrets to tell with a microphone? Yeah, to a select group of people. Excellent. Secrets. Oh, okay. Secret secrets are no fun. Okay. Secret secrets hurt someone. Yeah. Everyone knows that. Okay. All right. We have fantastic announcements to make. Woo! We are starting with our starting with our judges awards, and they'll tell you themselves. First up. Would you like to? Yes. Okay. My first, uh, the, so the first judges award comes from, um, from me, and it Would you goes, like to introduce yourself? Do you feel like, oh, tell people who you sure. are, it's what you're about, why, why you were picked as a judge? Okay, um, so I'm Cherry Tea Girl, I've been cosplaying since 2003, and um, I've been performing throughout the Bay Area uh, with Angel Hearts, and have been um, competing at various ponds over the years. Um, I also have a panel tomorrow uh, about the basics of cosplay and how I got started. So check that out tomorrow at 1.30. Um, and yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so for my judges award, I chose the card pack for Sakura. Um, so if you win, please come up to the stage. Come join us on the stage. <laughs> Take a step forward so the judges or so the contestants can line up behind us. I mean, true. Yeah, I mean, uh, logistics. Stop making bounds. So she put into a lot of detail into her costume. Um, she even like kind of like embroidered the scallops, and scallops had scallops. <laughs> and the tutu was made herself. She had 14 layers of tulle that went into her tutu. So congratulations. which does include our cosplay awards, or uh, judges picks, uh, you will get a cosplay work hair kit and a fancy ribbon. And for those that win a judges pick, you will also be getting a $50 gift certificate to Arda. Ooh. Fortunately, it's not right there. I don't know where it's at. I stopped looking at the group chat. Stick, so. stick around to get it later. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you know. <laughs> um, so I guess I am announcing the next judges award. Um, so my, I am Kinetic Cosplay. Um, I uh, have been cosplaying since 2012. I do a lot of Steven Universe. In fact, I have a Steven Universe panel tomorrow if you want to come. It's about the diamonds, so it'll be interesting. Um, I currently work at Universal Studios as a costume designer. And, so, um, and that, yeah, that is why I'm here today. Uh, anyway, my favorite that I saw today was Shogun Vader. Um, it was... Shogun Vader to the stage! Culturally accurate, went back to the roots of Darth Vader's original design, being based off of samurai armor. He put an amazing amount of detail work into all of the lacing of the armor. By the way, all the armor is leather um, with engravings on it, laser engraving. You get a chance like talk to him about how he made it. It's amazing. Here you go. Great job. Yeah, he got more things to hand you. Sorry. I like how everyone's like pimping their panels. Please continue pimping your panels. Yes! What's your panels? <laughs> Alright, am I next? Sorry. 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 Uh -huh. I'm getting excited. God, get on it, Mina. I'm sorry. It's okay. Round of applause for Mina! <laughs> you're doing a very difficult job and you're doing it very well. We appreciate it. I'm just like, I'm just fried at this point. It's fine. It's almost the end. We're good. So, hello, everyone. Hi. Oh, yeah. Well, hello everyone, my name is Mel, I go by Winnie the Stars Cosplay. 
Uh, sorry if I'm talking with the list, but I have things in right now. It's a little difficult to talk before. Um, anyways, I've been cosplaying since 2003. Um, I used to compete like these lovely people out here um, back in the day. And, but now I do judging. Um, uh, most notably, I've done WCS judging for the last three years. Um, and I also go and guess at other international conventions and work with companies, you know, all that mumbo jumbo. But anyways, um, so my judges award um, is going to a person who had amazing stage presence. And a lot of times when you're just doing a walk on, like there's not much you can do. So being able to work that stage is really, really interesting as an audience member. And it's going to the Umbreon. Where is my Umbreon? She was so cute and fierce. I, I love her. There you are. Okay. And I, I really like how I have all these cool fabrics. And if those of you that were at my panel this morning about fabrics, you would know that Mike was just in love with all these textures and how the light was playing off all this different stuff. So I really like this costume. Um, and speaking of panels, I do have a panel tomorrow on armor. It's called uh, the Great Armor Debate. I'm talking about like different types of materials to use to actually make armor. So if you want to learn about armor, I'll be doing some demonstrations too. Um, but yes, here you go, you get prizes! I remembered this time. Hi, I'm Steph. I go by Steph on Sheets on the internet. Um, I've been cosplaying since 2003. That's a long time. <laughs> and, um, I've been making a lot of costumes, and I'm, I suck at these introductions. I hate public speaking. I'm sorry. Um, I think, um, yeah, I do a lot of cosplay guesting and judging, and I travel around, and it, I'm actually living in Las Vegas, so I used to live up here in the Bay Area for a while, so it's always fun to come back, so thanks for having me. Um, and I have a panel tomorrow. Yay, it's on posing. So if you want to see me in a pink Zentai suit, I guess you could come to that. Yeah, you're in a pink Zentai suit. Like, honestly, I'm waiting for the ebook version because I've gone to the panel twice now and I will be there again tomorrow because I need help. <laughs> it's fun. I promise. Also, it's, it is very fun. Sorry. Okay, right, so my award, um, because. I'm like a giant meme lord, and I don't take life seriously at all, uh, clearly as I stand here in a meme costume, um, is going to someone who just nailed it on stage, and that is the Tomb Fist. Yeah. <laughs> that ninja one, that dabbing, and you get some other cool stuff, but that ninja one, <laughs> and that dabbing. Uh, Mel and I didn't see any of like the craftsmanship involved, so all of us, all of our stuff was based off presentation. And you guys are so good. Yeah, you come up here. Yeah, you get this. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let's take a slip on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, should, should I be cautious of limbs? Are you gonna do another trick? Because I missed the last one actually. You did it. Good someone, job. someone was being a peanut gallery, and I turned to look at them to be like, who did it? And I missed it. Excellent, and now we have our additional awards. Yes, we have a few more merit awards because hi, we're Kraken Con. We like to reward people for existing and doing amazing work. Because you're all amazing! <laughs> so we'll announce them, and the judges will tell you why they picked who they picked for various reasons and whatnot, because, yeah. Excellent. Winning the Merit Award in recognition for creativity, we have Spirit Knight Cosplay. Um, we love the wing construction and how it was uh, made to easily go through the convention hall. Um, there was a lot of interesting usage of different materials. For example, the fans are actually made out of uh, styrofoam plates, which is wild to me. Um, he made the entire helmet from scratch as well, uh, and used Yak's fur for the fur around his collar. Good night, Joshua, everybody. Okay, next we have for most resourceful, Carmilla Joe. Honestly, I was so excited when the judges put her in, to be honest, like, sorry to interrupt, but like, I flipped when I saw her. <laughs> so I really liked the movie Crazy Occasions. <laughs> so we were really impressed with um, that she made this in a week. 
and she was less than a week. <laughs> and she was really resourceful with her uh, materials. It it didn't even cost her like very much to make it. And winning the Merit Award for Most Accurate, we have Roswin Cosplay. Roswin Cosplay literally took a picture of Rose Quartz and measured herself in comparison to her, found a three to four to three, I think, ratio, and sized everything perfectly proportionately to herself as Rose Quartz would wear. A lot of attention to detail was put in, and it looked amazing on her. <laughs> and we're running out of stage space. If we could have our fantastic winners just scooch, curve, give it a scoochy curve. That's a technical term. All right. Excellent. All okay, right. last for our merit awards, we have for most impressive build, Warhammer 40K. Which I will run over. Yeah, we all know I'm not running. Don't yeah, worry, stay over there, man. You, you, you don't have you don't have to move unless you want to. We're not Part of your prize is not having to run all the way over here. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna just make Evan run. It's fine. It's fine. I did twenty push-ups earlier. <laughs> this costume. I mean, I don't know how push-ups benefit <laughs> running, but okay. This costume actually has a built-in cooling system inside, so that um, he can keep cool throughout the day. And <laughs> and we were really impressed with just how how massive it is. Um, he's on stilts, and everything was just so well put together. The helmet build was also amazing. Everything was sanded to perfection. It, it was so cool to look at. Yeah. Okay, next we need, can we get the fancy awards on stage in the very secret envelopes? Fancy awards to stage, please. Yay. Yep. <laughs> I want to hold all the pretty things. You know, probably shouldn't because it's glass. I, that's why I said that. That works. Do you want me to? Yeah, take the envelopes and then flip the stack upside down, I believe. Excellent. Ah, yeah. Because if I did this correctly, which I think I did. Yep, I did. Okay. Excellent. Mina did it right! Woo! <laughs> the map. Chase, I swear. <laughs> I will lock you out of our room. <laughs> Sorry, hi, I promise I'm friends with them. <laughs> okay, do you want to announce our best novice? Hi. I'm going to leave the honor to you because I'm holding a bunch of things. I, I'm holding it up to you. Excellent! You and which one am I reading? Best novice. Best novice we have! Prince and Jungle from Katamari! We just loved how colorful these costumes were. And they're super fun. And um, yeah, great job. <laughs> this was also the cosplayer's first and second builds. Like, very, very impressive. And with Best Novice, they win $100. So, yay money. They also get a fancy award that if they choose to, they can show off. But I feel like it's a little difficult to see because it's all glass. It's fancy and clear, so it'll look not impressive from a distance. <laughs> but cool boxes. Yeah. OK, and then next we have third place. Can we do a drum roll, please? I really like drum rolls. Can we do an air horn? <laughs> it's way better than a drum roll. I'd like to be traditional. Let me enjoy my drum rolls. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, for third place, we have Amethyst in the Saki Zuo. Saki Zuo is that how you pronounce it? I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it. Saki Zuo. Saki Zuo. <laughs> we were really impressed with the details, and she even has authentic Victorian patterns that he used for her um, for her understructure as well as her corset and there's hand beating also with the, with the costume. A lot of detail was put in. It is, take a look at it up close. It is incredibly impressive. <laughs> and for third place you won $125. Yay! Okay, Woo! second place. 
In second place, we have... Wait, do you want an air horn or whatever again? I'm gonna go classic. Uh, in second place, we have... Grunt from Mass Effect! And then the air horn. So we were really impressed with the uh, detail that was put into just making the the face look very organic. It was, it, it was it's pretty much all foam work, but the way he was able to use foam in such different ways to get different organic and inorganic looks was really impressive. Um, and the lights in it are really cool. Oh, just t take a look, guys. It's it is wild. There's also a built-in fan in the helmet as well. And the second place, they won $250. And oh my gosh, guys, we're down to first place. Cosplay now, contest is almost over, and I'm sad. So the can last we, cosplay like, competition. Do you want to sing a sad time. tune real fast? Oh, oh Danny Boy. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Have you been the peanut gallery all night that I've been hearing? <laughs> I've been hearing no, so much. Oh, long. sorry, no, no, Despacito. I'm sorry. Oh, so sad. Okay, so for first place wins five hundred dollars. I know. I'm not even getting paid. Like, I want to win first place. <laughs> but anyway, so first place is May from Overwatch. <laughs> Costume. Most of the fine detail was 3D printed and sculpted by her. Um, and the fabric detail and the consistency with the colors, it's gorgeous. Yeah, so you're buying Yes. Yeah, there was immense work that went into this costume and and we wanna think uh, we wanna congratulate you for your hard work. <laughs> Can we get an air horn, please? <laughs> yes! Oh, okay, okay. Oh, no, now I want one. Give me one. <laughs> I think that was especially air horn. It was really good. We need a special one. Thank you all so much for coming to the 2018 Dragon Con Cosplay Competition. Our fantastic winners will be staying up for a little bit if we can convince them for a massive photo shoot. Get low, judges. Wherever you can find room. Hold it up, triumphantly and proud. Going in the front. Going in the front. Yeah. Also, I don't think our numbered winners got their ribbons. I think we forgot. We'll give it to them. We'll figure out ribbons later. 